Hello and welcome back to Playground Monthly, where I, your host, Charlie Hodson, will be taking you through the very exciting season 34 of Forza Horizon 4. Let's take a peep at today's schedule. So first up, you already know what we're doing around these parts. So obviously we're kicking this stream off with a run through of the series 34 festival playlist. Up after that, new cars are coming your way, so we thought it was only best to tell you what we are, didn't we? After that, it's the Let's Play Horizon Super 7. I'm going to be setting our guests today loose inside the new Super 7 mode and seeing what carnage they can do in the next section of our show. After that, we have an update on the latest Super 7 high stakes update coming very soon. So if you are a fan of that mode, don't go anywhere. And finally, it's the updates and fixes. It's not a playground monthly without them. Let's be honest. But before we jump into all that goodness, join me in welcoming today's guest, Tom Butcher and Mike Brown. How are you both? Hey, Charlie. Great to be here after a, a brief hiatus. I've missed, missed the last few streams, so absolutely great to be back. Hey, Charlie. Yeah, absolute pleasure. Uh, really excited to show, uh, show the players what's coming to Horizon 4. And we've got absolutely loads to come in. So we'll skip the small talk and we'll drive straight into, see what it did there, the festival playlist. Take it away. All right, so I will start. So first up, your overall rewards for the series are, of course, a backstage pass at 50% and another shot at the uh, Toyota AE86 Truno for 80%. Into summer, 50% gets you a brand new car. This is the Porsche 356 RSR Emery. We'll be taking a look at that in just a moment. At 80% though, you get a classic British motoring with the, with the Rover SD1. Uh, the photo challenge for summer is hashtag drive like the wind. Take a photo of any hypercar at the Moorhead Wind Farm. The farm where they make wind. <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, so in the seasonal PG games, you can get the uh, Bentley Continental Forza Edition, and the showcase remix is the Quaint Village Rush. And moving on, we've got three hard to find cars. You've got the VW Type 3 Notchback in the cult following season event, the 2011 Ford Raptor in the Bring Me a Dream season event, and the Holden HSV GTS in the Down Under season event. Uh, Tom, do you want to run us through autumn? Yeah, cool, absolutely. So 50% in autumn will get you another Horizon Backstage Pass. Uh, for 80% 80, 80 you'll get the Aston Martin Vulcan AMR, uh, which is a super cool and very fast car. Uh, for the photo challenge, taking a photo of your car with the Broadway windmill in the background, hashtag milling around, will get you a super wheel spin. Um, if you want to pick up the modern race suit in red, uh, you have to do the Jumping Jeeps trial event. Uh, you can also get the BMW M5 uh, Forza Edition car in the Seasonal Playground games. Then completing uh, Di Diagon Rally uh, will get you the Toyota Celica 94. Uh, completing the Holden Your Horses uh, will get you the Holden VR Group A. And finally, there's a little nod to um, Horizon 3 Surfers Paradise Seasonal Championship will get you the cover car of that game, the Lamborghini uh, Centenario. Over to you, Mike. Ooh, let's take a look at winter. So another, another, count them, another backstage pass for 50% in winter, and 80% you get yourself the Aston Martin DBS from 2019. Uh, the photo challenge is hashtag going off-road. Take a photo of any off-road car. It's a simple challenge that gives you a lot of freedom in order to create a really interesting photo. Uh, tweet it out with the hashtag going off road, and then if we love it, we'll retweet it. Um, next up in the trial, you can get yourself the uh, Mercedes Benz X Class, that's in the tobogganing uh, trial event. There we go. Um, and the, uh, the Midnight Battle, another throwback to Forza Horizon 3. So it's a Midnight Battle season event and you can get yourself the uh, Koenigsegg CC GT. Um, and I think that's it. So yeah, over to you, Tom, for spring. Cool. 50% in spring uh, will get you the 2003 Renault Clio and 80% will get you the VW IDRR. And for the photo challenge, uh, take a photo of your car with the viaduct, hashtag train spotters. No need to have the train in that photo. Get your super wheel spin. Um, completing the trial, Fire Saga will get you the mini John Cooper Works buggy, which is. No, no comical pronunciations on that one? Uh, 
<laughs> no, no. Um, <laughs> completely throwing me now. Uh, the, the Mini John Cooper Works buggy, really fun off-road car, uh, well worth uh, picking that up. Uh, you can also do the Showcase Remix, which is the Commuter Blues, which thinks in the McCann, that will get you a, a super wheel spin. Then the seasonal event, uh, Greatest Hits, will get you the Porsche 906. And we've got uh, one of our new Series 34 cars, the uh, Pontiac Firebird 68, completing Phoenix from the Ashes seasonal event. And, oh, hello, who's that? Completing the GT Phone Home, uh, which is a great <laughs> name, by the way, uh, will get you the Alien Morph Suit, which, um, you know, I think we can all agree is a, a fantastic piece of clothing wear. Certainly the greatest prize available this series. So for sure. uh, make sure you're there for spring and get onto the GT phone home season. So if you only do one thing this series, I think it should be that. Absolutely. I mean, I will say now, we're going to have to put a limit on you guys coming up with pun names because you had three exquisite ones in there. And I just, I can't, I need to put a lock on one of you lot somewhere. Uh, so yeah, anyway, that is the festival playlist out of the way. But what about those new Series 34 cars we saw along the way, huh? I'm going to throw it back over to you two now in the studio to run us through the latest editions. All right. So uh, first up, I think we are going to take a look at the Pontiac Firebird. Before we take it out for a spin, uh, we'll just get a quick look at it in Forza Vista. Uh, I, I like that these people have uh, turned out. They're, they're celebrating the arrival of the uh, <laughs> 68 Pontiac Firebird. So. They are pumped. <laughs> Look at that guy, he's dancing away. Um, in white gloves as well. <laughs> yep, yeah, so it's in this, we've got it in this lovely burnt orange. I think if you move around, the, if you move the camera around, you can just see how it, there's a little bit of yellow in there in the paint flake, which is lovely. Uh, one of the cool things about the Firebird as well is it's got some nice upgrade parts. So if you are ever wanting to like show off big chunks of your engine while you're driving around, then you can do that. Also other, other shapes of bonnet, if that's your thing. Uh, for, I think we'll leave it stock for, for now, but you know, good to know that mm -hmm. those mm -hmm. things are available to you if that's your bag. Um, we'll take it out for a drive, I think. Um, do you want to drive, Tom, uh, yeah. whilst I, I describe what we're looking at? So um, the Firebird really is that, that in that late 60s pony car era. Uh, so kind of, kind of led by, by the Mustang first, but then obviously the other big American manufacturers were were racing to see what they could come up with to, to, to try, try and compete with that. So Pontiac, a, a child brand of, of GM, um, so therefore it's a stable mate with, uh, with Chevrolet. And so there are a lot of similarities between the Firebird and the Chevy Camaro, which came out just before it. Uh, it's got a 6.6 litre V8, an absolutely massive engine. Um, it's terrible around there. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tom's just destroying this car. Uh, so 6.6 .6 litre V8, which will get you 335 brake horsepower. Um, gets you around 6.5 seconds, not to 60. Not bad for a car in 1968. Um, Slight different, slightly different to the Camaro is it has like a much longer bonnet, which means the engine sits closer to the middle of the car. So purists will tell you it actually handles slightly better than the Camaro. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure Tom can feel that right now as he's yeah. taking it. Yeah, yeah it, my thoughts exactly. Just a real, <laughs> real, real nice feel to it. Um, so top speed at stock, you get about about 124 mile per hour, which. Um, perhaps isn't that much bang for a book for a 6.6 .6 litre V8, but <laughs> I guess that's probably because it weighed about 1,600 kilos. Um, I think interesting thing about this car though is that it, brand new in 1968, would have set you back about $1,080, which is pretty reasonable. That's about about 10-ish ten, yeah. grand in today's money, which is uh, not bad at all. Yeah. Do you think? Um, do you think if you're a high school student, you got your Grease back pompadour hair, leather jacket. You think you're going to be picking this up as a <laughs> as a first drive? I, I think as a, as as we say, 335 horsepower, not 60 in six seconds. Uh, no seat belts, no airbags, no no traction control, no ABS. I think it might have had power steering actually, but none of that other stuff. I think it's a perfect car for a 16 year old to get. And their it first easily car, yes. destroys um, a letterbox. I, think my, I mean, as well. my insurance premiums would be through the roof. The best how I've driven this now. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, be banned, you'll be banned from Edinburgh. <laughs> What do you think? What, what, what are you thinking? Any, any? Yeah. Would you get one of these for yourself? I think it's super cool. It's, it's, um, yeah. I'm not, not sure it's very going to be very suitable for parking on in British supermarkets, but you don't. You'd always have to take the two spaces when you think, which is uh, <laughs> poor, poor form. What do you think, Charlie? Would you? Could we catch you in one of these? Terrible. Yeah, I got space in the garage for one of those. Why not? 
<laughs> All right, should we take a look at the next car? Yeah, let me just uh, jump back to, um, I'll go to a different house. Then. Okay. So that's Phoenix from the Flames season event in spring. spring Is that yeah. right? Yes. So you have to wait right to the end of that series in order to get your hands on the Pontiac. All right. Um, here we go. What are we looking at? Okay. So this is, uh, yeah, the, the Emery uh, Porsche 356. Um, it's... Yeah, so Emory Motorsports, they're a American company that take Porsches um, and, and kind of restore them to, I think, what they call factory plus um, condition. So, um, you know, you've got a lot of extras in there. You've got an Emory Rossport flat four, uh, which was based on the 3.6 flat six in the 964. That's not it, that's um, on the engine. That's... It's, uh, which is going to do you about 400 brake horsepower. And at only around 880 kilos, that thing's going to fly off the line. Um, obviously, it's yeah, the, like pretty striking to look at, um, and I, th I think well earns its name as part of the Outlaw uh, range, which I think at the time was kind of raised a few eyebrows in the automotive scene. Um, you know, naming anything Outlaw. Um, look at that little space for your um, your baked goods there <laughs> in that air intake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's going to keep them warm though. Cause that's just the. You've got an air, an air intake in the fuel exactly tank. You might want to try and find some though. space back here if you uh, <laughs> keep your keep your croissants nice and warm. Um, yeah, real lack of storage, isn't there, in this in this car? It, it's it like... has to be said, yeah. It's not. Uh, it's if you're doing a lot of um, trips to the shop, taking going, running stuff to the tip at the weekend, this is not the car for you. Um, but you know that said, it is um, it is is a bit of a head turner if it goes past you on the road. Um, I think we'll get to see that. Like. Yeah. At a, a time when the light has seemingly disappeared, I was going to say the, uh, the the finish of it is quite striking as well because it's obviously got a bit of a brushed al uh, aluminium look to it, um, and kind of like with the exposed rivets on the on the panels, it's um, yeah, it's very cool. Maybe some of the Edinburgh street lights will give us a bit of a look at it. Uh, but yeah, if you are an owner, please do not put any uh, baked goods in the air intake. That will <laughs> void your warranty. Um, but yeah, Emery Motorsports was uh, started in. The 40s, uh, it's kind of run by a guy at the moment called uh, Rod Emery. Um, I think it was started by his grandfather. Um, and That's interesting. Yeah, uh, oh no, we obviously sorry. have another oh. Emery in the game. I can't recall which one we had. Uh, the. No, I can't remember. I don't, I don't, I don't want to make I don't want to get it wrong. So yeah, I don't yeah. guess. I'm sure chat will tell us in a minute what it is. They'll yeah, know. Go on. Thanks, uh, chat. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, like that, the exposed uh, turbo and exhaust at the back, uh, very cool. And again, um, would you say this is is one of your favourite cars, Mike? I'd say it's one of my favourite looking cars, I think, yeah. especially from especially from Chase Cam. You get that amazing view at the back there. Mm -hmm. It's really, really cool, and like surprisingly nippy as well. Um, I mean, maybe it shouldn't be that surprising. It's all at 400 horsepower and 800 kilos, so yeah. it's um, similar horsepower to the Pontiac, but half the weight. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So yeah, nice and nippy. Can yeah, it's it, it, it pretty tight handling. Yeah, yeah, it can do a bit, a little bit of a drift as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. very nice. Yeah. Oh, I've got a skill song. I've only got nine seconds left on my skill song now, so... <laughs> <laughs> and despite looking quite unique, I, I do think it sits well in the uh, the British countryside, rousing around. Um, yeah, nice postcard car. How'd you get this one? You can get this from doing 50% uh, in summer, I want to say. I think that's correct, yes. Um, um, so yeah, you'll be able to get that from uh, Thursday next week when the um, Series 34 officially starts. That is very exciting. Yeah. Um, well, so which one is your favorite, Charlie? You've got the, uh, the Porsche Emery Special or you've got the Pontiac Firebird. Have you had to choose? Um, I, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to say this one, but purely because my head has created a story where a lightsaber has chopped the back end of the car off, and I really <laughs> like that look. I've never seen anything like it before, so I'm going to go for that one, please, and I'll that send course, you my yeah, address uh, after the stream the, for you the to Emory send it over. Factory. Yeah, the, the, having the lightsabers was a key part of the construction I like the idea process. that they build a whole car, they build the whole thing, but there's just someone with a lightsaber at the end just going, nope. <laughs> 
<laughs> nope, on all of them. <laughs> that cart is it's too long. We need to get rid of the back. <laughs> <laughs> it needs needs about five percent less car here. <laughs> <laughs> They had a weight goal that they needed to achieve, and, the, <laughs> and, they, and they only had 15 minutes to do it, so it was lightsaber to the back. I don't care how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so those cars are coming to you in uh, Series 34, um, which, as I say, the update will go out early next week, and then the series starts on Thursday with summer. Excellent. Oh, I'm in spring now. We're in spring, and it's spring outside as well. Oh, well, there you go. We've had our summer, obviously. We, <laughs> we had yesterday. two days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> had that two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to snow next week as well, isn't it? So uh, it's, we oh, are really... It's, it's, it's <laughs> Port Horizon Four's and Four's weekly changing seasons are really, really surprisingly <laughs> accurate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could just watch you drive around here forever. It just looks really nice. Can we have a look at the, the inside? Oh, of course, sorry. Um, oh, it's a bit dark, isn't it? Um, got that massive choke there. Um, yeah, I, I guess uh, a bit light on modern comfort in the car, but... Um, doesn't, doesn't look like there's a radio or a sat-nav. I think um, if, you're, <laughs> if you're buying an Emery, and you're not going to see much change from about 300 grand on this, um, I, I think you, you're probably not looking for air conditioning, radio, you know, all the other things that come with cars. <laughs> that was the bit that was locked off the back. <laughs> you, you, know, you don't car things. See you Claire in the boot, <laughs> you, still, you still get those. You're an art and engineering. Be beauty and speed. So it's got a few uh, custom parts on it. It's got that Momo steering wheel yes. um, and matching. I don't know if we can see it in the dark. Uh, it does have Momo branded rims as well. But Which look uh, really cool. They are very, very cool, but a little tricky mm. to see them uh, in the dark, so that's unfortunate, but we are playing on you a... You can try and flirt mode. I can't change the time oh, of day, should though. Have parked, put, should have parked up in front of... <laughs> look at that! <laughs> what a superb picture of the <laughs> brand new car! I'm so glad you can all perfectly see this! <laughs> no, I think it'll work. It's... <laughs> Great idea though, great great content. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is spot photo on. mode. You can <laughs> Talking of which, should we move on to the next mode? Yes. Uh, what's up next, yes, Charlie? Let's do it. So oh, up next, I'm actually just gonna get you two to mess around in Super Seven, actually, because there's there's a reason why. We'll come to that later on in the stream, but up next, let's have a bit of fun in Super Seven, shall we? Let's, shall yes. we? Should we go see what lies in which? Let's. So this is live. Um, the, the, we are going to be taking on the challenges of real people. There is nothing, nothing pre-recorded or canned about this. So Brace who knows what's going to happen? That Nobody. gamer tag does sound AI generated, though, doesn't it? <laughs> Drew Bear two two five one two three. Well, um, it's got an excellent likes to plays ratio, though. So I'm expecting big things from this. Mm -hmm. um, it's just called Yeah. So yeah. let's see if uh, Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Let's do it. Oh, we've got to change season as well. Um, Could have used that before. So, Drew Bear presents. Do you think it's like yeah. a, um, it's like a, yeah, or is it like a, yep, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the latter for sure. Yeah, you're doing yeah. this challenge. I've got, all right, so yeah, I'm, I'm I'll, I'll, I'll take on this one. <laughs> I am pretty unconconcerned. What have we got to do? Uh, oh, it's a danger sign. Okay, now I'm slightly more concerned because I'm in the grass. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, you can do that. They do, they are. Handling you can grass. do that. <laughs> and their ability to fly. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. That was that. So okay. Oh, okay. Very good. Thank you, Drew Bear. Two, Thank you, two, Drew one, Bear. Two, that five. really uh, really showing Super Seven at its absolute finest. <laughs> um, very good. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, no like. No dislike. <laughs> I was so you were gonna dislike that. Was okay. that then. Um, <laughs> I, do you think that was too harsh, Charlie? Oh wow! Oh, I, I, he's, I felt like here. he was going to hesitate on dislike and right. Where well, Lisa cancel is better than a dislike in my books. I, I like I like where this is going. There, there is a lot to unpack yeah. here. That I mean, again, <laughs> not a strong likes to plays ratio, but here we got a, a, a sino the cheater, a sino the cheater. Yeah, yeah, that's easy. Yeah. Am potat, um, so you are, you, you're am potato. Um, am oh, do you potato. think that's what that means? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know you spoke Russian, right? 
Um, okay, let's <laughs> let's um, let's jump into this. I feel like you've got the better deal. I'm excited. I'm excited to do where it goes. <laughs> There's also the custom world <laughs> danger <laughs> danger tag. Right. Right. Okay. 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 Our bath. I see another cheat. Oh, this is looking good so and far. And he's, he's in and Ken Block outfit. Ken Block outfit. outfit. So this is a uh, cares about how he looks. He's got the he might, yeah. You've got the glasses on as well. Looking good. Right. I'm excited. Okay. Oh, yeah, good. I'm I'm pumped. Right, beat the speed target. Let's go. It's only 50 mile an hour. Okay. Uh, it's a stock. Bit of fire. Yeah, <laughs> only. <fun>. Gonna... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ooh. So far, so good. For a challenge that has a lot of, um, you know, descriptive words that you associate with speed, you've got race, speed, smash, <laughs> speed target. <laughs> It's a, it's a very. Um, you have to be careful of smashable there. You're going to struggle to keep at fifty. Don't go through those. Don't go through the middle of it there. No, definitely not. Yeah, easy, easy mode. Uh, Nailed it. Uh, so that was give Ampatat us a challenge by. Um, a, <laughs> do you know the cheetah? I see no cheetah. Thank yeah. you very much. Are you, I'll, I'll let you handle the like or dislike. Yeah, if I don't see I'm one gonna, of you I'm just like go ahead something. And like it. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was all right. That was good. I'm gonna like it. Someone spent time on that. You have to like it. <laughs> yeah, because otherwise you hate it, and that's not a nice place to I, be. I don't think. I don't think we have to like it. I think we're. <laughs> <laughs> there is, a, to be clear, there is a third option. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, ooh, okay. So this one's by Sir Dead Squirrel. Not that many plays. So a bit of a, a bit of oh, a wild yeah, card. Okay. Get yeah. to the destination in the ID Zaruno uh, in under thirty minutes. Oh dear. And it's simply called chicken. <laughs> um, I, I am tempted to chicken out on it if it's going to take me 30 minutes, but um, let's hope that that is just an, a really generous overall time. With, with the name of the challenge, do you think it's um, like, a, um, like playing chicken with something, or do you think it's just, uh, I'm just going to put something out there, it's just going to make people think, whoa, what is that? I think he was actually uh, ordering his, his food whilst creating the challenge, <laughs> and then the voice, the voice to text thing uh, picked it up. <laughs> And was like, yeah, you're having chicken now. <laughs> uh, where have I got to go? Do you think in, on his cool, shopping list he has uh, beat the speed trap or something? <laughs> <laughs> um, he has generously uh, elected to turn traffic off. Um, I good. like him. Very nice. I like fruity the fruity as the license plate. Yeah, fruity as the license plate. This is all good. So I think, think that matches with the chicken in some respect. Is he found a like lemon or orange chicken, perhaps? Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. It's all coming yeah, together. Great choice in Nando's if you're not into spicy. <laughs> get the lemon herb or the mango, mango and lime. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, but that isn't why you go for Nando's. I don't think that so. would fit on a license plate, would it? <laughs> Nando's mango, Nando's mango and lime. <laughs> <laughs> mango and lime on a license plate. <laughs> Over so that Anna stops saying that. Yeah, that's the one. So I, when I read the I challenge I, and the, the gamer tag name, I was thinking, uh, so Dead Squirrel's the kind of guy, he's a bit of a wild card, you don't know what to expect on a night out in a group of friends. <laughs> um, like he might, he, he might just say chicken. Um, <laughs> so now that's I think now peak comedy. Challenge, what's that, Charlie? I was going to say, he's the type of person who just says chicken and that's peak comedy. Yeah, <laughs> that's yes, it. yes. Um, I, now having seen the challenge, I'm kind of thinking, it, it's, maybe it's a cry for help. <laughs> like it's. I won't lie to you guys, that one is a dislike from me. That's just oh, wow. a road, my dude. <laughs> it's just so a road. Girl, the I challenge is two seven. Where's the super and... in the seven? <laughs> it was neither Come super on. nor was there seven of them. Well, it was great, and you got loads of points from it, but. I, it promised so much with the name, the gamer tag. I thought it was like going to be some real fun there, but so Dead Squirrel, so the jury has spoken. Charlie has decided. Dislike. Yeah. Sorry about We're that. We're just asking you to oh, like step that. it up. You know, you've you picked a great car, a great area of the map, but you got to take it a step further. You know. <laughs> is, is it true that when a developer account uses dislike, it actually bans you as well? No. <laughs> That, to be clear, that is not true. <laughs> That's absolutely not the case. <laughs> um, great, I've got another one which I'm unclear what I'm going to be doing. But So there's Morder, again, it feels like an AI generated game attack. Morder 2205664. It's his phone number. Great. 
<laughs> Drift 7500. Um, I'm not going to read that out, but we know that you need to do it in 1 minute 30, whatever it is. So it's And there's a Supra. So Yeah. What's not to So like? far, so good. Um, I liked the thumb thing. Can we make that a thing we do at the end? Like, sure. Yeah. Down, up. We can do that. Okay, here we go. Um, again, Ken Block outfit, so he, he means business. Got the brain bucket helmet as well. Are those shoes part of the outfit? <laughs> they are. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> I'm not saying more. Uh, okay, skills target. All right, great. In one minute 25, that's pretty modest amount of skills I need to get, but there's not many smashables around here. Excellent paint choice as well. Yes. As, as made famous in uh, Fast and Furious. Yep. There are other um, fast car based racing, movie Car-based car movie franchises yep. available. <laughs> no. We have a relationship with Fast and Furious. Oh. 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 That's really bad. Well, it. but he gave no. enough time, I feel, to... He knew that was going to happen. Um, I feel like that was in the creation of it, wasn't it? I've assumed it was. Um, it, it's a guy. It could, it might not be. I don't know that. Was it Murdo? Monda. Monda. Yeah. Um, you might. We should not. Don't know what. Don't know what language that was either. Italian. I think I'm thinking of Monza. Probably best. Not that was to. bold. <laughs> this is like real Jim Carner stuff. Yeah, I do want you to know, by the way, thing. that chat is just f's right now. Why? Wait, why? Because you, you lost your skill chain. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, OK, fair. Ooh. Bank it! Bank! How's that? Oh, how's I feel that like chat? I'm on. <laughs> what are you we doing? Link here. I'm going to bank it. I'm not banking it. I'm banking it. Bank! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now I can just see out the last few seconds. It's relaxing. Let's just have some fun. Smash yeah. it into another building. Why not? What do we think then as thumbs up or thumbs down or sideways? I like it. I, I think for me, the livery elevates it. That paint job makes me think this is a, it's okay. a cool challenge. Mm -hmm. kind, of, kind of unusual to get just a skills based challenge yeah. like that as well. We and like. thumbs up. Three thumbs up. Maybe if I want to like. Yeah. What do you think, chat? Was that enough? Or down or maybe? One likes it, but the others don't. Are we allowed <laughs> to do that? Or just uh, overall majority. Like, really. <laughs> <laughs> Not part of the UI. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, okay. Jesse's world, uh, and, and it's big jump. I kind of feel like I know what Aye. I'm going to get out of this. Yeah. Pre okay, yeah, light to play the ratio, and I can see it's got a custom world, so all looking good so far. Let's see what we got. Very good. We're all just living in Jesse's world. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I hope there's a big jump in this. I love I love that look of their character. It's like I'm going out, but I'm I've come on my motorbike. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a nicely painted center. There's they put the stands out for people to watch me, but no one turned up. Uh, <laughs> let's take Rude. the jump. This is familiar. We did the, we did a <laughs> <laughs> well, hold we on did. a sec. <laughs> feel like yeah, we got a free pass here. Easy. Yeah. 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 For sure. But you know what? I like Jesse's world. If that if that's the world we're living I want to stay in Jesse's world. <laughs> <laughs> if we could all just be part of Jesse's world, I think it'd be a much nicer place. I feel like bad that there's no one in the in the stands. Um, not that that's Jesse's fault. That is like, no, that, that is a that is a limitation of Super Seven. <laughs> what 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 do you reckon then? Mm, I'm, I'm going to give it a like because I I kind of like, like the stand that was that's, near that's it. Enough, but... that tips over the edge. It used yeah. a couple more design pieces and it got right on with it, so it was a quick one. It wasn't like one that takes five minutes and nothing happens. Yeah, that's that's absolutely fair. Uh, okay, wow. <laughs> Black Birdos, aka or, or Black Birdo Saka. There may be only one Birdo. Um, it's probably Osaka, isn't it? Because that's that's place. Okay. So it'd be Black Bird Osaka. Cool. There you go. Cool. Um, Jim Carner Gods won. Um, Harsh turn at the start, be ready. A nice, nice to throw in the warning yeah, in the description message. I think message. that's great. I think that's great. And oh, is know, it I a red herring? He's, he's, cre he's created this and he's called it one. Kind of, he's so confident he knows there's going to be a sequel, <laughs> maybe even a third one. Um, there is a series of gods that he's making yeah. available. <laughs> yes, yes. 
<laughs> I'm excited for this, and it's going to be really hard. <laughs> I think it's all sick. Of <laughs> I was looking at the place, the lights, and you know, we'll we'll see how we go anyway. Okay, lots of custom. Okay, so again, uh, a, hint, a, hint, a hint of Ken Block, but yeah. other than that, he's just on. It's just all business. All business is there for the weird shiny cloud <laughs> shoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, you've got one minute. Oh. Oh. This is good. Yeah. Oh, I've got options. Oh. Ooh. <gasps> yes. This is great. Yeah, Please. this is a thumbs up already, and you've not even finished it. Let's let's wait. There's still plenty more of it to go. <laughs> I think you've gone the wrong way. Yeah, I think that was. Yeah, you've already been oh. here. It's, oh, what it's, have you done? You not, if, you, if you hit a bit of rewind now, no one's going to judge you. I think it's okay. It's that way. Okay. That's it down there. It's all right. We're good. We're good. You've got 15 seconds. Oh. Oh. That was very close. <laughs> you were lucky. When you got away with Prometheus that. Prometheus brought fire down to man <laughs> and. <laughs> he said, I will conquer the Jim Carner gods. Um, that's excellent. a thumbs that's up from good. me. That I'm was impressed. great. Yeah, it was really, really good. Up. I like that one. That was the best one we've seen. It had a lot of thought. I was kind of worried it was... You, what you often see is people do a like, really complex bit of like, geometry and prop placement, and then you get to the end, and it's like they've either overdone the props and there's no, there's no props left. Or they've just <laughs> lost interest, and um, yeah, that was great. That was good. It's definitely like. We've not seen any dinosaurs yet, which is, is true. a little disappointing. Yeah, How strange. Unless they're all hidden somewhere. Well, there's still one challenge left from uh, Panther really JP. Deep. It's called Super Turn. Um, I don't know what the rest of that says, but uh, <laughs> we know there's an LDR. Right? I had it again. <laughs> <laughs> About. Um, about fifty percent ish uh, likes to play's ratio and it's custom world. Let's Perfect. let's jump in. I mean, it's going to be quite hard, doesn't it? If it's uh, half of people didn't like it. That means yes, half yeah. of people couldn't do it. <laughs> I'm now thinking of those people that got lost in that Jim Carner maze, <laughs> never made it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, eliminate jumpsuit. Great, eliminate jumpsuit, and a eliminate cat. Yeah, yeah. The full kit. Alright, all right. <laughs> <laughs> right, minute and eighteen. This looks cool. Oh, neat. It's a bit of a bit of a rally stage vibe to start with. It. There's the dino, there Charlie. Is. There we There's go. There's the oh, dinos. Oh, we had a couple of them. Perfect. Keep Thumbs up. up. We're good. This is cool. It's like a, a yeah, like a proper little route. Oh, hello. Ooh. Ah, oh, I've ruined it, haven't I? Because I've, I've followed the line. You did. I'm going to give every one so I can yeah, go on that big I... wall of death thing. <laughs> what was the game attack? Uh, something JP. Um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw that coming a mile off. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe should have just followed the uh, followed the driving line around the middle. Let's try it one more time. Oh, you've got to you, you've got to pay tribute to the creator. Sometimes you have to interpret what they wanted Whoa. you to do. But... Ooh. Um, uh, I'm ooh, not sure ooh. what they wanted me to uh. do there, Tom. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Probably just. So it looks know. like it's banking around to the side, but there's also that little thing they've placed over there. Yeah, I I don't think that kind of camber change would be allowed by our uh, mm. level designers. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, all, uh, all, uh, all the physics of this car are saying, no, don't do this. <laughs> That's <laughs> so really take off a lot of speed. Uh, there, we go. there we go. That's more like it. So there we go. Oh, you've got uh, you've got great body kit on there as well. Yeah. I'm going to time out, I think. Uh, yeah, you've got about... 20 more seconds. This is one of those examples where it started really creative, but it kind of feels like they might run out of steam. Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> Let's 
take a bit of a shortcut just in case. That curve bit was good though. Give him props. It for was the good. No, bit. it was fun. Um, I'm gonna just take a little uh, bit of a shortcut there because I'm worried I'm not gonna make it. And there we go. Oh, just there go. Panther JP. That was it. All First right. time, zero deaths. And I'll zero. Uh, sorry, super turn as well. Acknowledging the fact that he kind of ran out of steam after one really good turn and felt like then just drive to the end. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. We did it. We completed. We, we completed a super, super seven. seven. Unlocked. The Rossi and Q1, apparently that's the reward. Perfect. Very good. I give that one a thumbs up. I think that curve, they're very difficult to get them perfectly clipped all the way around. Mm -hmm. I speak exactly from right. experience and, here. And, so. I, and I bet when, when Panther JP was making it and he knew exactly, or she knew exactly what they were trying to create there, I bet, I bet there was a really lovely f flow through that, which I completely failed to mm -hmm. achieve. So. Absolutely. Well, that was Super 7 as we currently know it and currently love it. But there is an update coming soon, isn't there? Do you want to tell us a little bit more about that as chat are very keen to hear more? Yes. So just to very quickly remind everybody what it is we're talking about. Uh, uh, we've had in the pause menu since just before Christmas, uh, Horizon Super 7 high stakes. And I think we've probably been really pushing the bounds of what soon means uh, in coming soon. Um, and it isn't going to be out just yet, but we thought that we would give a, a bit of a quick update on what it is, when you might see it, um, and why you should be excited for it. So, I'll, Tom, if you want to drive, we probably don't need to look sure. at that screen anymore. Um, <laughs> so, as you've just seen, uh, the Super 7 is a, a really, really fun feature that makes really great use of all these awesome challenges that you guys have been creating. High stakes takes all that stuff, and as the name suggests, it raises the stakes. So. Uh, this is where, once you've really got a feel for the Super 7, which you feel like you can win the challenges most of the time, you're coming to high stakes and things will get a little bit more tricky. So in high stakes, every time you complete a challenge, you bank, you pop a prize into your prize pool. And you can at any time bank it, take it, keep that prize. But that, that's no fun because every time you take on another challenge, you'll be adding a prize to that pool. Um, and each time it shows you the challenge, you can choose to either bank, feel like that challenge is too difficult, and I think there's probably some in there where we would have said that, that these are dangerous, we shouldn't take them on. Uh, and then you can bank <laughs> it, you can take all those prizes that you've unlocked, or you can twist, adds an extra prize to your prize pool, and you carry on. The kicker is that once you've decided you're going to take on a challenge, you have to complete it within three tries. If you don't complete it in three tries, you lose all of the prizes you've added to your pool so far. And there's gonna, there will be some really awesome prizes in there as well. So. It's always going to be a really difficult choice about whether you take on another challenge to get the next cool prize or you just stick with what you've got. Um, it's a, a really fun and really dramatic uh, interpretation on the Super 7 formula. Uh, and it will also be pr prioritizing some of the more difficult challenges as well. So I think as you saw as we, as we worked through them there, generally speaking, Super 7 gives you challenges that the game thinks you'll be able to beat. Uh, high stakes mm -hmm. will be pushing the bounds on that and trying to find that level where it's really at the limit of your of your capabilities. So it's a, a feature that we're really looking forward to. It's not in this update, but it will be in an upcoming update very, very soon. Um, so yeah, apologies for the delay, but I think you'll hopefully after hearing that description, you will be a little bit more excited for it, uh, or at least as excited as we are to bring it to you in an upcoming update. Wonderful. Well, I know I certainly am. Um, so I guess there's no better way to wrap up a Playground Monthly than with my favourite thing, the updates and fixes. So is there anything to flag for the good folks at home? Um, go on, Tom, you've got updates and fixes. I'll, I'll bank these skills for you. OK, perfect. Yeah, so we've got um, a fix for some Steam achievements, which weren't, uh, weren't popping for some players, the Backbone of Britain and Time for Adventure. Um, there's a fix for a memory-related crash on the Series X and Series S consoles. Uh, we fixed a um, mouse cursor staying on screen um, whilst using the controller on Steam. That sounds so annoying. Very <laughs> annoying, yeah. So uh, we fixed that. Uh, we also fixed a crash which um, popped up once uh, the new wi Windows update landed. Uh, we've improved the server population management on Steam. Um, and we're also investigating crash which is uh, affecting all platforms um, as well as continuing to look into the wheel issues which are affecting uh, some steam players um, and we've also uh, made some updates too uh, which i think yes let's have a to. look so it's kind of got a neat story behind yeah, so uh, we've also made some improvements to the, um, the Quadra from Cyberpunk 2077. So 
Uh, some, eagle, some very observant and eagle-eyed players um, noticed that there were some slight differences between the version that we had in our game and the version that you could drive in Cyberpunk. Um, and so we have updated the car to, well, try and correct all of those issues. Uh, the realities of this are just the realities of game development, really. So we were working closely with our friends over at CD Projekt Red. Uh, they'd been sending us over concepts and early images of the car such that we could start production on our side whilst they were still working on Cyberpunk. And that led to a little bit of divergence. I think that the headlights were in the wrong. I think we had these vents here set up as headlights, um, and the, the reversing light didn't work properly. And some of these displays weren't showing the same thing as they would show in the actual release version of Cyberpunk. So we've, we've gone back in and corrected all of those issues. So as you're driving the Quadra now, it'll be even closer to the version that you would be familiar with from Cyberpunk. So a nice update there. It's a pretty significant update to the car. I think quite a bit's changed, and just a look looks a little bit better, a little bit cooler. Yeah, it's a um, pretty excellent car now. Oh gosh, I'm going to drift soon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no! How, how, how to drift? Uh, just before the show. This, yeah, I would probably set this car up. Go on, finish what you're doing. Go be on. Doing drift zones in it. <laughs> you got to finish this. Well, I'm not going to get the three stars. That's for sure. Rarely do you get three stars in a drift oh. zone after going, oh gosh, I'm in a drift zone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I will, ta I will take my one star we and uh, <laughs> <laughs> take it to the bank. God, um, dismal. We've seen a lot of uh, <laughs> Super 7 <laughs> challenges with the Quadra, haven't we? Yes. Um, um, yeah, people, people making some really fun things in there. It's obviously a really cool looking car as well. Yep. Um, Perfect. Well, I think that is everything we've gone through absolutely loads of new info across the new series 34 festival playlist as well as the coming soon super 7 high stakes update uh for anyone in chat who does want to know more from forza monthly that will be back on monday the 5th at the same time and the same place so don't worry if you've got a place to be right after this because we'll be coming back to you on monday but until then i will see you here next time you want to say bye bye boys Bye. Bye, bye. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye. There we go. Bye. Thanks, Charlie. <laughs>